working with child themes in the simple skeleton theme. We've selected this because it is child themable, it's free, and it's very friendly for it. If you go into your structure, I'm using Dreamweaver, but you can use any Windows or Mac um, way to access your files, you'll notice that there's a README text, which I'm looking at right here. And what it's telling you is that they've already created all of the blank files you need to create a custom theme. And to do that, what you're going to do is you'll go out into your actual directory and let me back up a bit. You'll find in WordPress themes, we're using Simple Skeleton, and it has a zip page and a readme. And so in here, under child, I have a child theme. The readme is what I just opened here. And here's the zip file. So you can choose to extract this. And then you want to browse to where it should be installed. On my computer, since I'm using a local WAMP setup that was set up into the documents file, I'll go into documents. I will go into WAMP, and I need to get to the www folder because that's where we installed WordPress. And inside of WordPress, I need to keep going until I get to the content, themes, and I want to install it here. I've already done that. I extracted it here. So if I hit OK, it's going to do it again, so I'm not going to. But it's going to extract into the skeleton child theme. So go ahead and do that. Get installed, pause me if you need to, and once you've done that, go into the skeleton child theme and let's take a look at the files it created. Go do that now. I'll be waiting here when you get back. Okay, you should have installed that by unzipping the file and putting it in the themes directory. So now if you look at your themes directory, I just want to locally refresh this here. Now, if you look at your themes directory, you should see the skeleton underscore child theme. And again, you can look at that either through Dreamweaver or you can look at it through your Windows or Mac file exploring program. So I'm going to look in Dreamweaver because I like the fact that it colors the code. But again, it's not essential to have Dreamweaver to do this. But since I have it, this tool, I'm going to use it. It has a screenshot. That's a pin file. It might have been easier to do actually over here. And it's going to open in Fireworks either way. You'll notice this is opening in Fireworks um, because they do have it installed, but they've quit supporting Fireworks going into see the Creative Cloud, so don't be surprised if something else opens it. Probably Illustrator. It's whatever you have registered to files of the PNG type. I just love waiting for files to open. Well, that opens because I'm very ADD. Let's take a look at the style that CSS file. You're going to want to go in here and modify some of these. The theme name is Skeleton Child, that's fine. This is your URI, which is fine. The description, this is fine. You want to use the child theme so that if there's theme updates, it doesn't delete your edits. Um, this is simple themes and you can edit it further. And put your name on that there. And so it has everything going in here, and this is licensed, and you are allowed to use it. This child theme, theme enables you to make customizations while allowing for safe updates to the parent theme. The parent theme style is imported below. So what it's going to do here is this is importing our skeleton style, and we can copy the contents into this file, um, but you want to leave everything above here intact because this is what defines it as a child theme. You get to make your changes below here. 
Remember that some CSS files are cascading. You can copy in the other files because anything here is going to override, or you can just further override them here. Let's see if that screenshot opened. Oh, this is going to be unhappy. Let's try that again since the fireworks is open. Okay, so this is just an image of what the skeleton theme looks like. So that's what that file is. So we can close that. And then functions.php, this is your template package. When you're modifying skeleton, you need both a template and a CSS page for it to recognize it on your computer. So everything with these stars in front of it, this is all comments. So it's telling you all about who the author is, layout hooks, etc. And you should read through that. So it basically is just providing comments. And you don't want to make changes in here significantly. You can put a note um, in here with the author, just modified by Mary Winchester. And I can save all. And that's just our getting started. And now we want to go into our local host. And in previous classes, you should have gotten this set up so that you can go log into your WordPress theme. So let's go on to Mary WP. Dot local and we can go in here and log in and this will let us go in and modify the appearance now if you've done everything correctly you should see skeleton in here file in here twice you have simple skeleton and skeleton child you want to go ahead and activate that because we're going to use this as our theme in my next video, I'm going to go through customizing this theme because if there's anything in the theme already for what you want to do where you can customize it, you don't need to recode it. So let's see how far we can get into what we want before we have to go add custom code.